Welcome back, Heartland. It is the entertainment segment, and joining us again this morning is Scott Kellum. How are you this morning? Cold, but I'm here. Well, that's good. I'm glad you <laughs> arrived. What movie are we going to talk about today? Uh, today we're going to talk about Sherlock Holmes 2. All right, now, since it is a second movie, do we have to go see the first one in order to see this one? Absolutely. This is a must-see of the first one before you can even understand the second one at all. Okay, well, that's very good information. Now, we actually have a clip this morning that everyone can watch. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it before we run it? Sure. This is the part in the movie where Sherlock Holmes and Watson meet again after the first movie. Watson's left and comes back. All right, now, can we show that clip? Yeah. surprise. <laughs> I'm not going out with you dressed like that. Would you prefer I joined you in the fashion folk path wearing fine military dress with that heinous handmade scarf? Oh, how I've missed you, Holmes. Have you? Why? I've barely noticed your absence. Then again, I'm knee-deep in research. Extracting fluids from the adrenal glands of sheep and designing my own urban camouflage. All right, from a critic's perspective, this morning I want the truth. Is this a good movie? Uh, yes. yes. It is a really good movie. Okay. I enjoyed it thoroughly, but I also enjoyed the first one as well. If you didn't enjoy the first one, you're not going to enjoy the second one at all. Okay, great. So is this a family you can take your movie to, or does it require kind of a lot of thinking since you have to know the first one in order to see the second one? It's definitely a movie you can take your family to. Um, it's, it's open for everybody. I guess it's just that children, not family. Children, yeah, okay. that was the part. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, definitely take your family to it. It's, it's a great movie. There's not a lot of uh, uh, swear words. or There's a little bit of violence, but uh, nothing too serious. Well, that's uh, good. It might be a little bit over their heads, but they'll enjoy it. Okay. Now, did you like the actors who played in it? Uh, you, you know, Robert Downey Jr. has done a great job since he made his return, just like Mickey Rourke and, and their return to movies. There's not a lot of movies you're going to find with Robert Downey Jr. that you're going to be disappointed. He plays a lot of multiple characters, unlike, you know, your Johnny Depp's who play the same character over and over again in, in all the movies they do. Well, that's good. So you definitely say go see this, if D you saw the first one. If you saw the first one and you liked it, go see the second one. It was well worth the money. Okay, great. Now, today we're going to ask everyone on Facebook to give us, what, some... Some, opinions, some input. Some if you okay. like Sherlock Holmes, you know, let us know. If you didn't, let us know as well. Otherwise, we're going to put up three more options next week. Pick All one. Right. Uh, and one of them is going to be the girl with the dragon tattoo. Which we're told is I want that one to win. It's <laughs> definitely want the one that wants to win. So. Yes, so we'll see. All right, thanks so much for joining us this morning, Scott. Nope, not a problem. All right, we'll be right back.